Cheers, man. <laughs> How do you do, Buckaroos? How the heck are you? I am Dr. Bear Whisper. Who else would I be? Hey, so uh, this is the last one I got around to getting from uh, the, the Winter Warmer Pack from Urban Chestnut. Uh, it was the only one I didn't get to before Christmas uh, for one reason or another. The Winter Rogan Rye Ale. It is meant to be a traditional Rogan beer. I'm going to read just a little bit from their website. 5.5. Five, five, uh, 14 IBUs, uh, color light copper. Okay, I'll give that to you. Uh, hops are Pearl, Malta Rye, Pilsner, and Munich. So there you go. I am a fan of a Rogan beer. Seemed like for a long time, uh, craft brewers anyway, would only do a Rye IPA instead of a traditional Rogan, Rogan beer. Not there's anything wrong with a Rye IPA. I kind of like them, but I like tradition too. And this is a style that really gets overlooked by American craft brewers. It has interesting aromas. I'm almost getting these walnut-like aromas from it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you're just nuts, Tom. Uh, again, it was only uh, 14 IBUs, 5.5%, 14 IBUs. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> obviously it's not a hot dance beer. But I, I, I like I like traditional styles, and you know that. Gosh, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, and that that's what craft beer was to start with was just making, bringing back some lost styles, making styles that were currently available the way they used to be made instead of using cheap adjuncts. Uh, and now it seems like if a craft brewer doesn't throw a hundred ingredients in a beer or have a beer that has a hundred IBUs, they they get called mediocre. A, a, anybody that does a faithful representation of a style should never be called a mediocre beer. You hear me? <laughs> just because you don't get it, just because you don't under, understand the style, just because that style may not necessarily be in your wheelhouse, doesn't mean it's a mediocre beer. You, you know, you, you should learn to appreciate the quality. Even if the beer isn't for you, you know, know enough about the beer to understand if it's made right, if it's made within style guidelines, <laughs> if it's perfectly done within the style, don't call it mediocre. Using my Brick Street glass, and I've been using my Urban Chestnut glass, but the Brick Street holds the whole bottle, which is why I poured it in here. So it's interesting. I'm getting flavors I didn't expect to get, and I'm kind of wondering why. Um, I'm certainly getting some of uh, I'm getting those, those rye flavors, but I'm also getting, um, let's see, the Moss or Rye Pilsner in Munich. I'm also getting flavors that, that, that I typically get when, I, when I'm drinking, well, when I'm drinking, you know, a, a, a traditional German wheat beers, I'm almost feeling those, those kind of fruit and clove notes, you know. But I like how the rice spice kind of lingers and tingles on your tongue. It's just nice. And I'm a fan of rye malt. I know rye malt isn't for everybody. So it's one of those things whether you like rye or not. But I love the addition of rye. And I love a traditional beer of any kind, to be honest with you. Because I'm a guy that, I'm a craft beer drinker. But uh, other things as well, I'm a guy that appreciates tradition. I like when people adhere to tradition. Uh the finish on this is very nice, so you really get that, that nice, clean. Those pearl hops are, are, are very fresh uh, on your palate. It's just nice the way the way it just, just dries up perfectly. Pearl, you tend to get some herbal notes. I mean, you, you may get some, some citrus, uh, possible orange. Uh, some say you, you'll get some mint. It just depends. I'm almost feeling some of those minty-like notes here, though, to be honest with you. But it's very light, and it doesn't distract from the beer. So there you go. Oh, nice. So there you go. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to run this one long. Uh, sometimes I get long-winded. <laughs> sometimes not. Sometimes I drink a whole beer with you. But this time I want to sit and relax and drink the rest of my Winter Rogan from Urban Chestnut. I am a fan of Urban Chestnut. If you haven't been out there, uh, in St. Louis, I've got two locations, a Midtown and a Grove. Both locations are fantastic, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, but both locations have very knowledgeable beer folks, which is why I like them. 
I am John Beer Whisperer, and I do approve this message. I hope you all are having, you all had a Merry Christmas. I hope you're all prepared to have a happy and safe New Year's. Please don't drink and drive. That's a Beer Whisperer PSA, and I approve this message.